Three or four years, you know, I've been associated with lots of things, you know, perhaps uh, uh, when, a, when, a, when a vacancy's come up somewhere and, uh, but you know, nothing's ever materialised and, uh, you know, I don't really take it too seriously. And the only time I will take anything seriously is when Richard Murray phones me and says to me, you know, perhaps this has happened and that's happened, then that's the only time I can really think about it. I must, you know, it's nice, I must admit that, you know, you must be doing something right if, if you're being mentioned and whatever, but, you know, I don't uh, really look at it too deeply. I think the only time you can do that is, is if something arises and you've got to make a decision. And as it stands at the moment, there's no decision to be made. <laughs> Malaga looks a luxurious setting for a Charlton soccer school, but it wasn't exactly a holiday as they worked hard to make a good impression. Looking more like the Reservoir Dogs than the Red Red Robins, they meant business. Holding a press conference at the local town hall and pressing the flesh with plenty of Malaga officials. They want to prove they're doing something for the locals. They'll coach and teach thousands of Spanish children, not just potential stars of the future. Some predict there will be 5 million expats living in Spain in a few years' time. Charlton can see a niche here, and they're getting in early. Over in England, you've got all the clubs sort of put their flags out and they cover a vast area, and they, they go into schools and talent ID and do various things, and there's not many kids that have got talent go, go unnoticed. But over here in Spain, most of the major clubs, like the Madrids, the Valencias, and, uh, that are in our region, They've normally got two or three hundred children on their books as academy or advanced programmes and that's it. I tend to call it edutainment where people learn through fun, enjoyment and this is the perfect way of doing it, you know. Every year an incredible half a million kids pass through Charlton's football in the community schemes in their locations around the world. And it's not just about football, they're even educating them about living healthily and eating properly. John Reid came down to the Valley a little while ago, he was talking about the health budget going from 57 billion to 65 billion. Why? Kids are not eating healthy nowadays. They're going to, you know, have the fast food outlets. Um, and what we're trying to do at Charlton is both through the academy and the community scheme is to set a pattern of what is healthy eating. Now if the government put money behind that, they're not paying out years later. It doesn't take a genius to work it out. And that's true of England, it's true of Spain. Charlton have not got a Wayne Rooney or a David Beckham. And when you've got players like that, you can go on tours to the Far East or wherever, and you can say, here we are, we're Man United, that's the fee for coming. Uh, play a couple of exhibition matches, few autographs and go. That increasingly is upsetting the football associations in various countries because they're looking at it and thinking there's no, there's no sort of legacy left with this. What we're trying to do is come up the other way. We're saying we're coming into your countries, but we're giving something back. Even in Spain, Curbs couldn't exactly get away from it all, but he is hoping to avoid the usual end-of-season slump. I've got two teams at the moment, and um, you know if I can keep it all together and, and we get into the running in, in a position we've found ourselves in previous years, I'll be going into it with a little bit more confidence. I think that um, you know we've looked at it, we've analysed what's happened to us over the years, and I can't keep coming away from the fact that them last six or seven games, we have looked tired. We have run out of bodies, we have been hit by injuries and suspensions and uh, if I can keep this squad together, I'll, I'll have no more excu excuses, you know, I'll have run out of them. I just want to get in that position again, you know, let's get in that position and see if we can maintain it. Charlton certainly won over the locals and who knows, this place could turn out one of their stars of the future. Back in Blighty though, they play in... Mo on Monday at the Valley against Fulham, uh, live on Sky Sports 1 from 7.30.